here's the thing. I think if you're a parent, show this to a child. If you're uh, of starting to get to the drinking age, show this to your friends. Because this is a good example of what not to do and how one stupid decision of getting face and getting behind the wheel can alter the rest of your life and the rest of you know whoever's Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. Well, who is he? Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers sees the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer. Today we're reacting to the body cam of an Illinois woman who's laughing after she kills two people in a DUI crash. And this is kind of dovetails with uh, our last video when we talked about Henry Ruggs. It, I, I just can't tell you how important it is for you guys to think before you act. But before we, and I haven't seen this yet, so you're going to get my raw reaction to this. Uh, and you'll see some outrage probably for me and maybe a couple jokes. But I don't know. But before we get to this, this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com, a very effective way to remotely do business. Let's say you're a huge rapper and you get involved in some kind of scuffle. And for whatever reason, you can't go out of your house. And so you tell your buddy who's downstairs in his mother's basement to hire a lawyer for him. So what do you do? You go uh, to eSign.com and you download the app. You get three free signatures a month. And you send your retainer agreement to this up-and-coming rapper, whoever the guy is. He's able to e-sign it because if it's not e-signed, no one signs. And if you sign that, it's just like you were there in the same room. I use it all the time for retainer agreements when people can't make it into the office. Or if, I'm, or if you're just trying to do something quickly, it's a good way to remotely do business. eSign.com. You use it, I do. So let's just get right into this. Now this is an accident. And uh, my understanding, the woman is drunk. I'm not going to lie. I have dreams all the time that I'm on the side of the road or whatever and the cops are, are near. And I just, uh, it's, I've never had a DUI and I've never been in that situation. But it's just, it, it's going to ruin your, the rest of your day. Come over here with me, ma'am. Okay. I called as I soon as it should yeah. happen. I was I understand. Like, this doesn't happen to me. I understand. I go to Bradley. Like, why would this happen to me? Okay. So here's what I'm going to have you do. If you can uh, maybe help Tyra do CPR on that one right now. You tell me. I'm right here. Okay. Just hang tight right here. Has anybody gotten all your information? No. No one has. Um, someone, your friend took my license. Do you have a driver's license? Your friend took my license. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to write it down here. Okay. Just let you know I got body cameras. Okay. Information for okay. Is that okay? What is your first name? S T E P A. Now she doesn't technically have to give him any information, but she is, and. It's very difficult in that scene to know exactly what to do. A N I E. Middle initial. I don't have one. Okay, last name. No, it goes on M E L G O Z A. Phone number. Okay. Yes. Sir. Can you, uh, were you leaving the bar? Were you coming this I down the road? I was coming. I was coming here. Okay. You know, I had just gotten my night started. So. So were you going this direction yes. or this direction? I was coming this direction. Okay, here's what I'm going to have you do. Uh, yes, please let's tell just me. get let's get away from the scene a little bit. Yes. Let them do their thing, okay? This is your car, right? The yes, correct, sir. the red yes, car. Yes. You were the only one in the vehicle. I'm the only one. Okay, come over here. So you just established, you know, she's the driver and and she's already coughed that up. This is why it's very difficult to win these cases because. You're sort of a deer in the headlights when you're drinking and driving and you get in an accident. Here in my spot car, okay? Yep. Yeah. Can you take your purse off and just set that on here? We got him. Yep. Do you have anything illegal on you? Yes. I have marijuana in, in your purse. purse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you had any marijuana tonight? No. Okay. Can you set those on the car for me for him? Maybe. She doesn't look like she's that intoxicated. She? Yep. Yep. Okay. Set that down there. And my phone. In your phone? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right, just come over here, just put your hands on my car. He's got a pass search where I put you in my car, okay? Okay, then. No pockets or anything? Okay. okay. No pockets. All right, until we figure out how... So, when asked if she has anything illegal in her purse, and this is in Illinois, 
and she does have something in her purse. It's marijuana, and marijuana recreational use is legal in Illinois, but it isn't federally, just so you know. How we're going to handle this, I'm going to have you sit uncuffed in the back seat of my car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you out. We're going to probably do some field sobriety tests and all that. Okay. i got some more questions for you. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm going to have you sit down just so we're out of the roadway, okay? Mm -hmm. Right over here. Yes. No? Are you hurt at all or need or need medics yourself? Uh, no, sir. Because your entire, I mean, your car is pretty beat up. So I'm making sure. I'm do you, okay. Are you bleeding anywhere? Um, no, I'm okay. Is that little blood splatter on your hands from maybe from your glass? You see, you got glass kind of all over you. Do I? Okay. I, don't, I think I'm okay. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Hang tight a minute. Right okay. Suspect. That's her. She's. Um, they're probably gonna call both of them. So. But yeah, go check out her car. Sorry. It's okay. All right. All right, so here's the deal. Just because I do have you in the back of the police car, I don't have you in custody or under arrest, mm -hmm. but obviously you don't feel like you're free to go right now, right? So, I You know why he says that? Because she's not free to go. She's, she's in custody. So what are the two things for Miranda? In custody, interrogation. So he's going to probably read her Miranda rights now. I'm just going to read your Miranda rights. You understand they what are I, what I tell you. What happened <laughs> in the accident, okay? And and but the initial conversation with her is not protected by Miranda or not it does not invoke Miranda. Just that initial you were driving okay getting the lay of the land. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have a right to talk to a lawyer before question and have a present with you while you're being questioned. Cannot afford to hire a lawyer. Want to be provided for you before question. Okay. Do you understand each of your rights? What's, how do you say your first name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay. That being said, will you talk to me and explain yes, what happened? Okay. I will talk to you about anything. All right. So explain in detail just what happened. So I can't tell you how many times. The best thing she could do for herself is just shut up and not say anything. I, I'm not going to stay. Make it, and then they would just keep her in the car, and then they can't ask her another question until they, you know, they take her to the get processed in in jail. And she doesn't. And you don't have to do the field sobriety. And I recommend you don't. But uh, but once you but it's a crime to refuse once you get to the uh, to the station to take a test. But when people are in this situation, they're generally like deer in the headlights. They're in shock because they just had a bad accident. They're drunk, so they don't realize what they're doing when they're giving a statement. I was coming to Full Throttle. And I was almost here, as you can see. Were you, were you driving this way or that coming down that coming side? I was coming here, road? this way. Okay. And suddenly, one person walked out in front of me. Okay. And my car got hit. I called you as soon as they you got ca hit. You called 911? Yes, I called 911. As soon as something happened. And then someone said, oh, someone else is hit. I'm just like, oh, my God, how did that happen? Okay, what so, happened when you hit the one person? What happened? I, I just called you. That's all I know. Okay. I called did, you. Did they fall down right away, or did you get out and help them, or what happened? I got out, I called you, and then everyone else came out, so I, like, kind of just let that. When you, when you have a crimbicular case like this uh, with alcohol, they really don't have to prove a whole lot. You know, they have to prove that you're drunk and you're driving and that uh, and that you caused the accident. That's about it. Um, okay. Come and take over the situation. Okay. Um, but I promise you, like, I only know one person got hit. And I'm just like, they came out of nowhere because I'm a safe driver. Right? I get it. Hang on one minute. This guy's starting. And it's, in, you're dealing, if you look at it, it looks like a dark area. And so somebody just, you got to be on the lookout for people. But if you've been drinking and driving, come on, man. You know, if you've been drinking, don't drive. I, I just can't stress that enough. Here. If you had asked me how fast were you going when you hit the person? I would say I was going at least at Suburban. least forty. At okay. least forty. Think maybe? maybe forty to forty five, but at least forty. Okay. You can be you can kill somebody at just about any speed. 
right. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you were going too fast for this area at the time with the darkness? I honestly don't think I was going too fast because I try to be precautionary about where I'm at. I mean, she doesn't sound like she's overly intoxicated. Um, but I just know that someone, one person, came out of nowhere. Did you have your headlights on? Yes, sir. Brights on or just regular headlights? Regular. Okay. Okay. So obviously you saw them. It was no time to react, no time to stop. No time. Okay. That's word. Okay. Our That's word. Word. Where were you coming from tonight? I was coming from Tavern uh, 41 on Sterling Avenue. So now they got her drinking at Tavern 41. Tavern 31 on 41. Tavern 41 on Sterling, yes, Florida. Sir. Okay, and you left the Tavern 41 and drove straight here. Yes, sir. Okay. Drinking and driving. Over the course of the night, how much have you had to drink? I probably had about three drinks. What's what? What is three drinks? You like? Are we talking? What type of drinks? Just vodka. Vodka, straight vodka or mixed drinks? Uh, vodka and water. So I was staying hydrated, you know, and okay. drinking. Well, at least she's you know hydrated. On the, like uh, right now, if you had me do a test, I think I would pass. Just like, not, don't test me, but I think I would. Don't test me. Don't, don't you fucking test me, man. You know, just because I killed somebody doesn't give you the right to test me. Don't <laughs> test me. Give me a break. Don't test me. I can't. That one I've never heard. We're going to do those tests here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because the circumstances, obviously, we have to, okay? Uh, how long ago was your last drink, would you say? about 40 minutes 40 minutes ago mm -hmm. did, were you drink anything while you're in the vehicle no. or was the last drink at the bar at the bar okay on a scale of one to ten one being the least drunk you've ever been ten being the most drunk you've ever been where would you say you put meaning the, the, no one the least drunk ten the the most drunk but anywhere in that scale is there not drunk no so the the question is uh you know how drunk were you compared to how you've dr been drunk in the past yourself right right now five, five. because i've been five i'm five i've been i've been i've been more drunk but i've been less drunk but regardless i'm drunk very drunk and right now like i see you i see everyone mm -hmm. i know the situation you know what i mean like i know i'm aware of okay. everything okay there's something to close the door. Uh, if it stops raining, we might do some tests mm -hmm. in the roadway. Otherwise, we might go back to the police station and we'll figure out okay. how we're going to do okay? Right. Is there? Yeah, we got your purse, your uh, phone already. That's, that's all we need out of your car, right? So you're restrained of your freedom here. And all the statements that you're giving to the cop are giving him... Now he's got plenty of cause to, to, uh, to test her. Okay, hang tight. All right, I'm going to just run your information. You got a valid license and all that, correct? All right. All right, Stephanie, go ahead and step on out here for me. We're going to do these uh, quick tests. Yeah, it, it started raining a little bit, but it pretty okay. much let up as long as you're okay with that. Okay. All right, come right over here. You need to stand here in front of my squad car and face me. All right, just uh, just confirming you said you had so the first thing he's going to do is a horizontal gaze nystagmus test. That is, you know, you put a pen or something in front of somebody's eyes and, and you, you look for a lack of smooth pursuit. In other words, jerky movement. It's an nystagmus. And then you, uh, and there's a maximum deviation at 45 degrees. Watch, this is what he's going to do. I haven't seen this yet, but I guarantee that's what he's going to do. Great. Great. Okay. All right, last one was great. Okay. Do you have any medical problems? Any trace of problems with you? Now, ask if you have any medical problems. You can have a naturally occurring nystagmus, like if you have a head injury, that kind of thing. Okay, what do you do? What do you do for work? I wait just So you're on your feet all day. No, all day. No issues with that. Okay. You're overall, you're pretty healthy. You agree? Okay. See my pen right here? I see your what pen. I want you to do is follow the tip of my pen. I'm going to move my pen back and forth several times. I want you to follow the tip of my pen. Do you want me to like walk or just my eyes? No, nope, we're just doing your eyes okay. right now. I want you to follow the tip of my pen of your eyes, your eyes only, but keep your head still. I want you to continue that test so I tell you to stop, okay? Okay, sir. You I'm understand? Ready right now. Yes. All right, touch it. So if you look at her demeanor, um, she, she doesn't look like somebody that just hit two people and killed two, and killed two people. And that could be the alcohol, that could be the fear, or that could just be a nervous reaction. Tip of my pen just so you know where you're going. There you go. All right. That's
See, look at that smile. Isn't that a pretty smile? What the fuck are you doing smiling after you kill two people? Nope, keep your head still for me. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just your eyes. Oh, it's really right. hard. We're going to try it again. It's hard. All right. She's got no clue. She has no clue what kind of trouble she's in. Just... Okay, okay, okay. Now she looks like she's intoxicated. Keep your head still for me. So far, you can just follow up your eyes. Are you able to hold your head still without your hands? Okay. All right, just, fine, just follow fine, up your fine, eyes, fine, okay? Fine. I mean, she's really smiling now. Okay. Keep following. Keep looking at the side. There you go. I see you. I see you. I see you, I see you, and you get a DUI, and you get a DUI, and you get a crim vehicular homicide. Give me a break. Keep looking at the side. She looks drunk. I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but once once you got going with the uh, with the uh, body movement. Keep your head straight. Just look up with your eyes. Keep your head tilted down. We're gonna try it again. Just look up like you're looking up the sky, but keep your head down. See, they hold it in a specific spot, and then if your eyes are jerking, that's what he's looking for. One more time on that, okay? Okay, come right over here for the next test, okay? Now we're going to do the walk and turn test, or the one leg stand test. What I'm going to have you do is stand about right here, face my car. We don't have a line, we're going to pretend there's an invisible line straight from you to my license plate, okay? Can you see my license plate fine? Right. Now here's the thing, with the walk and turn test, if you are standing there and you don't touch, they don't tell you this, but if you don't touch heel to toe, if you don't step exactly the way you're supposed to, if you deviate from it at all, they consider that evidence of impairment. That's, that's, the, that's the area we're going to shoot for. We're going to walk towards that, okay? What I want you to do is put your left foot down first. And here's the thing. You don't have to do these. And if you don't do them, it gives, you, it gives them less to argue that you're impaired. Okay. Now put your right foot in front of your left foot with your right heel touching your left toe just as I'm demonstrating. Go, right go ahead and get in that position can for I, me. Can I show an example? Yeah, I want you to. Oh, okay. Go ahead and tie your shoe for me, okay? Sorry. And every little movement that you do on the side of the road like this is scrutinized. So when you read these reports, it's like, oh my God, you know, you swaying to maintain balance. Okay. okay. Meanwhile, there's oh, over behind her, there's life saving measures going on to try to save the two people who were just run over by her. And she's got no clue. What I want you, exactly as I'm demonstrating, put your left foot down. Left now put your down. right foot in front of your left foot, your right heel touching your left toe. Right Stay in that position left. while I explain the instructions. Do not begin until I tell you to, okay? Right. okay. Hands straight down your side. When I say you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line, you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps oh, back, nine, okay? When I say you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down this line, you're going to turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back. On your, on your turn, I want you to keep your front foot on the line. Then you're going to use your other foot to turn yourself around with several small steps, okay? Oh my God, this is what it's going to look. This is what it's going to look like. This position you're in. When I say go, one, 
two, three, on down to nine. Keep that front foot on the line. Use your other foot to turn yourself around with several small steps. Nope, stay in that position. Okay. Go back just the same. One, two, three, and on down to nine, okay? Again, I just did three. Now, what if she had Ubered it to the bar? She wouldn't be walking heel to toe right now. And two people would be alive. Three for demonstration purposes, I'm going to have you do nine each way. During this test, make sure you watch your feet at all times. Keep your arms straight down your side. Count out loud so I can hear you. Once you begin the test, do not stop until you have completed the test, okay? Yes. Yeah. Do you understand my instructions? I think so. All right. Go ahead and begin the test, okay? So she didn't touch heel to toe there. If you look at her arms are way out. He was he told her to keep him at your side. But you, you, she probably thinks she's doing great. She stumbles there a little bit. I, I'd let her drive me home. Nine? Yes, ma'am. All right. If you're going to stand right here in front of me for the next test, go ahead and face me. So I really don't even need to do another test because they've got plenty to have her do the PBT. The PBT is a preliminary breath test that will measure your alcohol on the side of the road. Feet together, arms straight down your side. This is called a one leg stance test, okay? Whichever leg you choose, I'm going to have you lift it approximately six inches off the ground with your foot parallel to the ground, holding that position once you count out loud for Meanwhile, there's people that are either dying or dead off in the distance. 30 seconds in a family manner, 1,001. I couldn't do this whether I've had a drink or not. 1,002, 1,003, and so on. Until you give it 30 seconds or until I tell you to stop, okay? During this test, make sure you watch your race foot at all times. Keep your arms straight down your side. Count out loud so I can hear you. This is what it's going to look like. Position you're in. When I say go, you're just going to lift your foot up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on. So you get 30 seconds or until I take Run! You stop. Do you understand? Like this? No, ma'am. Just as I demonstrated, okay? Like just up? Just as I demonstrated. Did you I see my no, see my demonstration? Okay, just like this. Oh, Your foot okay, parallel okay, to the okay, ground. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and begin the test, okay? Okay. One, one thousand. Is that what it you is? Drop your foot. Lift it right back up. Keep going where you left off. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. So she can't keep her foot up. She's not having her hands down by her side. She's swaying back and forth. Continue the test, okay? Okay. All right, we'll stop the test right there. Go ahead and stand right here by my front bumper. One last test for you, okay? okay? Just stay right here for me. Now the PBT, which in most jurisdictions is not admissible in court. This is called a PBT test. You ever blown one of these before? No. Okay. You know what the legal limit is to drive in Illinois? I do not, sir. Okay, point zero eight. okay? What I have you do is take a deep breath, a long, hard, steady blow into the straw, just like you're blowing up. Now, how many drinks did she say she had? Three drinks. Three drinks, and the last drink was 40 minutes ago, and she's drinking vodka, water, so she stays hydrated. Up a balloon. Keep blowing until you hear the machine click, okay? All right. Blowing up a what? Yes, ma'am. Take a deep breath, long, hard, steady blow. A little bit harder for me, a little bit harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. You're a Bradley student? I graduate in four weeks. You're a point two six four, okay? Point two six fucking four. Point two six four. I would not have guessed she was that high. That tells me that if she's that high and functioning this well at uh point two six, point two six, most of us would be passed out at point two six. Point two six, she's a drinker. Okay. All right. And that's a lot more than Go three and drinks. Go turn around for me and place your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for DUI. Okay. 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 So she's three times, more than three times the legal limit. And oftentimes they have 
elevated sentences for people who are, uh, you know, either double or triple the limit. Or, and just like they do for multiple DUIs. However, her biggest problem isn't her alcohol level. Her biggest problem is that there's two dead people on, on the scene. Okay. So she, th this explains why she has an emotional detachment to what's going on. She's drunk. All right. I'm right over here. Let me sit back in my car, okay? She tells the cop, you're doing great. I mean, you're doing great. She's fucked up. I mean, she's she's really drunk at .26. It's funky, it's funky. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. She's playing so clear. I'm going to undo your seatbelt. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So you understand what we're going to do? First off, I'm going to let you know the two people. You did hit two people total. I did not. You did. I didn't. Okay. I'm yeah. just. I didn't. I didn't hit anybody. However you want to word it to yourself, that's fine. Okay. I'm just telling you, there's two people struck by your vehicle, and both mm -hmm. both are dead. I did not hit. Okay. Two people. Right now. Okay. She's already admitted to hitting him. Well, I'm just telling you the two people that hit Why your car, ma'am. Listen, listen. I... Why would you? If you didn't hit anybody, why would you call 911? And why would your car be all fucked up? Two people struck your vehicles. I'm telling you, and they're both deceased. And why the cop is even telling her this or arguing with her is beyond me. I'm seeing. I'm just telling you that information. Okay. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna do the thing. I appreciate you being cooperative so far. I'm just tell. I gotta tell you what's okay, going on. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Come, all right. Come on out here this way. All right. All right, right over here. Here's the thing. I think if you're a parent, show this to a child. If you're uh, of starting to get to the drinking age, show this to your friends. Because this is a good example of what not to do and how one stupid decision of getting shit-faced and getting behind the wheel can alter the rest of your life and the rest of you know, whoever's in your path. Stay right here and grab all this stuff here. I'm sure there is. Um, once we get in here, we'll tell them. Um, once we get in here, we'll tell them. They'll probably take it off for you, okay? All right, come follow me. Go right in this emergency doors here. So now they're going into the um, emergency room to the hospital to do a blood draw. And most of the time, in most states, you need a, a warrant to do that. Well, your whole front wind, windshield is shattered out, so that's understandable. Meanwhile, everything she says is fair game, no matter what she says. Okay. And it if it was two, I'd be crying, you know what I mean? I'd be like, oh my god, I did this. I'd be like, wow, this ain't hard, but I know it. But you're point two six. you're really drunk. I did. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to take you to Vegas. It's going to be so fun. And I'm going to spend at least $500. <laughs> and I'm going to start off with <laughs> two Long Island. <laughs> Yes. You ever had enough of drinking already? We're talking about Vegas. Uh, There's no limit at Vegas, right? She doesn't have a flipping clue. She's sitting there looking at spending time in prison, but she thinks she's going to Vegas. Wait, have you been there? I swear to God, if there's Snapchat right now, I'm not. I'm gonna be mad. So She's talking to the cop like he's her college buddy or something. Talking about drinking Long Island teas. Are you Snapchatting right now? I mean, I'm going to Vegas. It just doesn't make any sense. But she's also 2'6". Two 2'6". Six. Two six. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that's a very high reading. Long day tomorrow. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm not going to answer anyone's Snapchat. I'm not going to answer any questions. You know, when you're sitting in your cell, you don't really get access to Snapchat, just so you know. Okay. 
Okay, well, you're being too quiet, so I'm going to start singing because I hate quiet. So. Yeah. All right, she says, okay, you're too quiet. I'm going to start singing now. Really? You got to figure out all your paperwork. That's why I just sound like singing. Let's It's just the human condition never ceases to amaze me. You know, in my job, we see all kinds of stuff. She just killed two people and now she's singing. I mean, you can't make this up. Make sure that you don't you know, you know, if a judge saw this, he would be just incensed, or she would be incensed to watch somebody so cavalierly. But it, it is the it is the booze. I mean, she just doesn't have an awareness of what's going on. Oh, hey, you never answered me about my car. I school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? You're not gonna need your car, cause you're gonna be in prison. Car is totaled. That's what? Your car is totaled. 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 Total wrecked. Okay, so how do I get it here? You don't. So what? I don't go to school tomorrow. Is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail. You don't have a bond. You killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that. Clearly, I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of inbound. Can I have a Tuesday you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I just, I don't get it, man. I mean, booze has got to be really a high priority for someone to just be that drunk. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said? You that said you, I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay, we're done. You're all on body camera being completely careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I can. Okay, so can I ask? It's not like he's going to lose business. <laughs> I can go back to school. So, really? Like, should I email my professors and be like, hey, I can go back to school for a while or what? Because I graduate in four weeks. Like, I need mean I graduate in four weeks. I mean, really? I mean, gosh. I, I didn't hit anybody. I mean, she's just plastered. Mm -hmm. Well, to be quite frankly, I'm a little more concerned about the two people that are dead right now. To be fair. So what they're doing here is they're waiting for a warrant because in order to take her blood, that's a seizure, right? And you have a reasonable expectation of privacy in your body and your blood. So they have to get a warrant to get the blood. And usually they just get an electronic warrant from a, a judge uh, at night because there's an on-call judge. And then the nurse will come in and, and draw her blood. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh my God, all of them have the, we're going to be like. <laughs> so when she wakes up, you know, with clanging door therapy in the morning, she's going to be singing a different tune. So if, if, 
I, I'm going to re- reiterate what I said before. If you're a parent, take your child through this. You know, especially if they're in their teens or early 20s. You know, if they're college age, for sure. This is an example of before and after. You know, it's all fun. I, I, I like to drink too. I like I love a good bottle of wine with, with dinner. I love a scotch on occasion. I, I love to watch a game and have a beer. But what I don't love is smashing my car into people and killing them. And this is an excellent warning for anybody out there who is, you know, starting off drinking and, you know, we, we don't have training on drinking, right? We, we, we just kind of are left to our own devices. One call for an Uber so you're not driving saves two lives. The last video destroyed lives. This video, three people were dead because of two stupid decisions, you know, to just get out there and drink and drive. So I'm being a little preachy here, but you, you want, there's no defense to this. There is no, the most talented defense lawyer in the world cannot take away the facts of the case. So this happened April of last year, 2022. She was just sentenced. You know what she got? 14 years in prison. 14 years in prison. So she's having a great time and then she kills two people and a year later she goes to prison for 14 years. Probably seven years apiece. Think before you drink. Make the good decisions beforehand so you don't have to be forced to, to, you know, oh, I can do it, no big deal. So I'm Bruce Rivers. This is a criminal defense lawyer's nightmare having shit like this happen because there's not much we can do except for try to clean you up. So I'm a, I'm aghast when I see this kind of stuff because these are the kind of crimes that are so preventable. So this has just been our reaction to Miss um, uh, Melgoza and watching her laugh as two people die. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for Patreon, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away. 23-hour lockdown, please, is that my goal?